Let us begin with a review of universal design and flexibility in use guidelines, which are as follows. 1. Provide choice in methods of use. 2. Accommodate left and right hand users. 3. Consider variations among the precision and accuracy of computer users. 4. Provide adaptability to the user's pace. Now, let's explore these items a bit deeper, starting with 1. Provide choice in methods of use. Providing choice in methods of use includes keyboard shortcuts in the place of a mouse, voice control input such as speech recognition in Windows, and speakable items on the Mac OS X, X, or computer output such as text to speech. The second item involves accommodating left and right handed users. This is done through mouse properties. The third item is providing for variations in precision and accuracy of computer users. This includes helping students who have hand-eye coordination problems, visual impairments, hand tremors, mild motor control issues, or cognitive disabilities. This can be accomplished by enlarging the icon size or adjusting the speed of the mouse. The last item is providing adaptability to the user's pace. This can be done by adjusting the mouse pointer movement speed, changing the double click speed, or changing the keyboard repeat rate. Both Macintosh and Windows computers include these features. For example, Windows 8 has built-in assistive technologies which includes the introduction of touch-only devices. With touch devices, you can directly interact with everything on your screen by touch without using a keyboard or mouse, including managing accessibility options in the Ease of Access Center. With Windows 8, you can easily access the most common used accessibility options right from the sign-in screen. Select the Ease of Access button in the lower left corner of your screen or press the Windows logo key plus U to choose the settings for your PC that you want to have available each time it starts. Windows 8 also provides Narrator, a basic screen reader that reads aloud the text that appears on the screen and describes events such as error messages. This has been redesigned in Windows 8 to be substantially faster and to support many new features. Whether you're an individual who is blind, has low vision, or are fully sighted, you will be able to use Windows 8 from the first time you start your device. By default, on touch-only devices, Narrator can be launched by simply holding down the Windows logo button and pressing the volume up button. Once Narrator is running, you can use Narrator's built-in touch commands to explore the screen and control your device. There are three shortcuts many people prefer to use to activate Narrator. On the sign-in screen, press the window logo key plus U or click the Ease of Access button in the lower left corner and then choose Narrator. On a keyboard, press the Windows logo key plus Enter. On a touch-only device, hold down the Windows logo button and press the Volume Up button. Every Mac comes standard with assistive technologies that help people with disabilities enjoy the power and simplicity of OS X. It includes features like an advanced screen reader, FaceTime, and literacy tools that help those with a wide range of abilities get more from their Mac. 
If you are blind or have low vision, a variety of assistive technologies in OS X, such as a built-in screen reader, cursor magnification, and dictation help you use your Mac more effectively. VoiceOver is a screen reader that comes standard with every Mac. It is much more than a text-to-speech tool. It tells you exactly what's happening on your Mac, lets you fully interact using gestures, such as a keyboard or braille display. Zoom is a powerful magnifier that lets you enlarge your screen up to 20 times so you can better see what's on the display. You can use it as full screen, picture-in-picture, picture, allowing you to see the zoomed area in a separate window while keeping the rest of the screen at its native size. You can boost the size of everything on your screen, including text on a web page, family photos, place on a map, and so on. Dictation lets you talk where you would type and it now works in over 40 languages. So, you can reply to an email, search the web, write a report just using your voice. You can navigate to any text field, activate dictation, then say what you want to write. Dictation converts your words into text. Contrast options. If a higher contrast or a lack of color helps you better see what's on your display, OS X lets you invert colors or enable grayscale on screen. Once you set your preferences, then apply them system-wide, you can get the same view in every application. You can also turn on increased contrast to enhance definition and reduce transparency as needed. Cursor size. OS X lets you magnify your cursor so it's easier to see where you are and follow along as you move around your Mac. FaceTime video lets you communicate in numerous ways. You can catch every gesture and facial expression from raised eyebrow to smiles. Thanks to its high quality video and fast frame rate, FaceTime is ideal for people who communicate using sign language. Closed captions. You can watch your movies, TV shows, videos, and podcasts using closed captioning, a feature that is supported by iTunes, QuickTime, and its DVD player. iMessage. iMessage lets you start up a conversation without needing to say or hear a word. You can send unlimited messages to anyone using an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, or Mac. If you have difficult using a keyboard or mouse or trackpad, OS X technologies like Switch Control can help you access your Mac in other ways. For example, there are slow keys which adjust the sensitivity of your keyboard to process only the keystrokes you mean to make. You could also have sticky keys which combine your keystrokes, allowing you to press keys one at a time instead of simultaneously to enter commands. There are also dictation commands, which has over 50 editing and formatting commands to dictations. There are also mouse keys. So, if you have difficulty using a mouse or trackpad, use mouse keys to control the cursor with the numeric pad. Press a number key as the mouse button and use other number keys to move around the screen or to drag and drop items. On-screen keyboard. Sometimes it's easier to use a pointing device than a keyboard. The keyboard viewer in OS X lets you do that. Text-to-speech. We all learn in different ways. Some of us learn better when two or more senses are engaged simultaneously. With text-to-speech, you can highlight any text and heard it read aloud. 
word completion. To help with word vocabulary and word building skills, OSX provides word completion in applications such as text edit and pages, as well as its current mail program. After typing just a few letters, press the escape key and OSX suggests words. Select the words you want and OSX completes it for you. OSX also supports Purple Video Relay Services, which provides video relay services for those who are deaf or hard of hearing. That wraps up this week's lecture. Before we go, here are a few resources you may want to look at. Alerting Devices www.soundbytes.com Apple Special Education www.apple.com forward slash education forward slash special dash education Purple Video Relay Services www.purple.us forward slash try now Windows 8 Accessibility www.microsoft.com forward slash enable forward slash training forward slash Windows 8. And last but not least, OSX accessibility. https colon forward slash forward slash www.apple.com forward slash accessibility forward slash OSX.